You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance. Of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into... The Panther Zone. Hey there, Dutch Omens, let me ask you something. What strange trick did the Egyptian pharaoh Pepe II use to keep the flies off of him? Hmm, the answer might well salt your salami, whatever that means, and I'm gonna give you that answer faster than Dalton can rip out a throat, but in the meantime, if you do not know who I am, I am the guy who still does not know how to install an app on his phone. True story, I am your faithful friend, Bits of Real Panther, and I would like to welcome you. That's right, you sitting there playing Monopoly all by yourself. Wow, that's kind of sad. I would like to welcome you to episode number 91 of The Fun of Friday Videos. <laughs> Enter one grunge-era anachronism. He could be Bill, or Billy, or Mac, or even Buddy. But for the sake of our examination, his name is here of no relevance. Suffice it to say, however, that this diamond dozen self-proclaimed entertainer stands before you not as you see him, but rather as the very embodiment of affectation. A performing monkey singing and dancing amidst a storm of pixelated lightning and a cacophony of synthetic bells and whistles, injecting his own brand of neuroticism as do so many others directly into those digital arteries and veins of that global entity known as the Information Superhighway. It is here which we today find our protagonist doing that which he does. Welcome to the Panther Zone. And with this being episode number 91, we of course find ourselves in a brand new location, as you can see behind me. The owners of the last place, I'm going to be honest, they threw me out because they did not like my drinking. Now, I don't mean my drinking of alcohol per se, just my drinking of liquids in general, which I thought was kind of strange. But hey, I don't make the rules in the YouTube universe. If I did, then all of the views would go to those quality videos that actually deserve them instead of to those no-talent hacks sitting at the top, spending their day sucking on that sweet, sweet YouTube teat. It's a good thing I'm not bitter about it though, right? <laughs> Also, with this being a new season, we of course have ourselves a brand new sponsorship. Today's video is sponsored by the amazing new product, the book, Mike Tyson's Quotes for Everyday Life. Have you ever had a thought, but you weren't sure exactly how to articulate it? Mike Tyson has your back with gems such as, I think I'll bathe in his blood. I'm a historian and that freaks me out. I normally don't do interviews with women unless I fornicate with them. And that ageless classic, I'll f you in the ass till you love me. Perfect for all occasions. <coughs> and as part of this special limited time offer, if you buy three of these books, they will also include a free face tattoo and autographed picture of Robin Givens while supplies last. Anyway, there are Cracky Gleason in today's video. We will, of course, have just for you the joke of the day and preceding that something determined entirely at random. So today I have to ask you, hey, do you care? Laundry style. Just the best. Do you care? Do you care that laundry machines have been around for over 200 years? Do you care that 8 pounds of laundry contains 53 grams of grime, approximately the equivalent of one candy bar? Do you care? Do you care that fabric softener can soothe eczema? In the interest of full disclosure, I have to admit that no. 
I did not care one bit. Anyway there, Martin Meat Thrust, at the beginning of this video I asked you what strange trick did the Egyptian pharaoh King Pepe II use to keep the flies off of him? The answer, he would coat his nearby servants in honey. Certainly a sweet piece of information, isn't it? Because, <laughs> huh. <clears throat> anyway, if you enjoy this kind of nonsensical knowledge, please do whatever you have to do to that subscribe button. Just think of it as therapy. Lastly, of course, I'm going to give you a little joke when I deliver the punchline of that joke. Please rate that joke in a... This guy should market his content for male stamina. How do you figure that? Because he can make a couple minutes feel like a couple hours! <laughs> anyway, here's the joke. My therapist tells me that I'm too obsessed with revenge. We'll see about that. Anyway, please rate that joke in the comment section below and have yourself a most excellent Friday indeed, my friend.